Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is the Lone Ranger for the NES. And it's based on the American radio serial of the same name. It was on radio, it was on television, it was made in movies. It is... Without a doubt, one of the most American things I've probably done on this channel. And yet this game is made by a Japanese video game developer. I don't really know what else to say about this, but at the same time, I do. Because that said, Japanese video game developer is Konami, which means this is strangely going to be good. Because... It's an NES game made by Konami, which means there's going to be some sort of charm and some sort of challenge, and there's going to be stuff about it that's really good. Konami could do no wrong, seemingly. Now, we could start a new game, or we could put in a password. We're going to start the game, and we're going to find out what's going on around here. But first, we get to choose between the zapper and the controller. In certain parts of the game... Specifically, first-person parts where you control a cursor and fire. You can either use the D-pad and the B button of the controller, or you can use the zapper. I'm going to be using the controller. The time is the early 1880s in Texas. A man has returned to bring the justice the outlaw who murdered his brother and his former comrades, the Texas Rangers. His name is the Lone Ranger, the outlaw, whose name is... His name is the Lone Ranger. I can't read. The outlaw, whose name is Bush Cavendish, has now kidnapped the president. The time has come for the masked man to begin his journey of adventure for the purpose of safely rescuing the president and avenging the deaths of his brother and former comrades. So to recap what I said 10 seconds ago, we're the Lone Ranger. This guy who's a gunslinger named Bush Cavendish, who is also an outlaw, he's killed our comrades, the Texas Rangers, and he has kidnapped the president. We need to find Bush Cavendish, take him down, and save the president once and for all. Along the way, we will get some advice from Tonto. The Lone Ranger's Native American ally. Kimosabi. You need a strong horse for your journey. Find Silver. The legendary white horse. There are rumors that he was seen in Tucson. So, we need to find the legendary white horse who is supposed to be our horse. And we need to go to Tucson. Tucson is just to the west where the train is. Let us go into this town and talk to people. To go through dialogue, just press the A button and you will slowly go through it. As for moving around on the map, you just go where you want to with the control pad. And the game will let you go into places if it will let you. Once you're in a city much like this, where you have a top-down perspective, you can move around in eight directions with the control pad... You can attack with the B button, and you can talk to people with A. How are you today? Well, I just started the game, so I honestly couldn't be better. So I do have things to do. You are in Tucson. Somebody will always be here in these towns to tell you, Hey, this is the town you're in. Keep that in mind. Here's the train station. Might as well go in and show off what it does. A ticket for the train costs $25. Where would you like to go? Nowhere. And besides, you'll be going to the Carson City on foot anyway. You start out with $100. That may seem like a lot of money for the 1880s, but it's not a lot in this game. Speaking of money... You'll see how much you have in the lower left-hand corner. Above that is your health. You do not want to run out of health because if you do, it's game over and it's continue time. 
the square to the right of that with the four triangles in it, that is going to be used for the first person areas of the game. I will explain that when the time comes. To the right of that is our current weapon. So far we have the fist, but we also have the regular bullets and the silver bullets. The difference between the regular bullets and the silver bullets is the silver bullets can take out just about any enemy in one shot. It's a much stronger bullet. I usually use those for boss battles. And of course you have your fists. Thankfully we can take care of this guy with her fists. Just face him, just keep pressing B, and then you can beat him up and take his five dollars. Like he owes you that five dollars. Amazingly, the fists, the hitbox on them is pretty generous there. I'm not gonna lie. You don't have to get too close to an enemy, as you can see. But there are times where you will want to use the gun, and I'll show that off eventually. The gun shop is where you can buy some ammo and better guns. Excuse me, mister. Do you want to buy something? And to make choices, you use the control pad and the A button. If you press B, you'll leave. Now, we can buy our standard and silver bullets. We can also get some TNT, which we can throw at enemies. And there's also the short-barreled gun. We don't need to worry about buying that because we start out with the short-barreled guns when we play. I'm not going to buy any ammo yet. I have no idea. And here is the doctor. There will be one in every town usually, and you will want to stop by if you are low on health. What can I do for you? If you need treatment, it will cost $50. And we don't need treatment right now, so we can leave. You want to get as much money as you can in this game. You can never have enough money. And this guy threw a knife at me. Thankfully, it didn't do a lot of damage. And by going into houses, you can talk to people. And, again, very generous with the hitboxes on the fists. The fists can hit enemies from a good distance away. There is someone in this town who has a reliable tip. You better talk to as many people as possible. And we will be doing that. And by going in this house, you'll find that person with a reliable tip. Are you looking for a white horse? He was seen near our town, but now he's gone to the other side of the river. If you tap A again, you can speed through the text. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try not to do that anyway. And if you go south here, you'll just leave the town. Whoop, uh, hey. You stop that. And this is where the gun comes in handy. Switch to either your regular or silver bullets. Press A. Or, no, press B. And you'll load the barrel. The S10 became an S9. We have nine barrels worth of standard gun ammunition. And you can buy a barrel's worth of ammunition at the gun shop. Saving money is important. Now that guy in all pink, he's going to shoot at us. I did not want him to hit me. He's gonna about to, he's about to shoot a six bullet. When he does, he will try to, re, try to reload. That is your chance to swoop in and shoot him. Now, when you press A with a gun, or rather a type of bullet equipped, and the, gun, and the chamber is empty, you will fill the whole chamber with that whole chamber's worth of bullets. So if you had standard bullets equipped, you get you'd have you'd load six standard bullets. If you had six you had the silver bullets equipped, you would fill the chamber with six silver bullets. You will have the if you want to use if I, okay. If I want to use sil if I want to use silver bullets at this point, I would have to use up all my standard bullets 
then switch to silver, press A to e to load the gun with the silver bullets, and then I can fire the silver bullets. And of course, if you don't want to fire your gun, you can always switch to your fists. Now, I believe I want to talk to this person, because I haven't already. You can buy extra bullets and better guns from the gun shop. And I have went over that already. Let's see what the person in here has to say. If you were injured, you'd better see the doctor in the town. I pressed B when I meant to press A. For treatment. If your energy is too low, you'll become too weak to fight. Therefore, pay close attention to your energy level. That's what happens when you hold A. The text goes fast, but thankfully, you have the chance to read everything at your own pace. And that is everything in Tucson. You definitely want to talk to the woman in the house near the southern exit when you, before you leave. Because that's how you're going to find silver. Because if you go all the way to the south and you go up to the bridge, if you talk to that woman, you'll find silver. Otherwise, you'll have to go back to Tucson, find the woman in the house, and then talk to her. And then silver will show up. Kimosabi, there's silver, but you cannot cross the river now as the bridge has been pulled up. And if you go to the guard at the bridge, who is in this building, you'll be able to talk to him. Howdy, mister. Do you want to hear what I have to say? Yes, yes I do. In order to keep the outlaws out of this area, I don't let anyone cross the bridge. If you want to cross this river, get a letter from the sheriff in Dodge City. And something tells me that we're going to have to do something for the sheriff in Dodge City if we want to do this. That's usually how these kinds of games work. Thankfully, I believe Dodge City is right here. Now these guys will punch at us, but I can punch back. And these two guys are the only enemies that are here. You are in Dodge City. So, again, that's how we know we're in Dodge City. There's always going to be somebody who tells us, hey... You are here. How are you today? And did not mean to press A twice there. Can I talk to you? Thank you. I have no idea. And here is the gun shop. It's got the same things as what we found in Tucson. There's the doctor. And... I want to see what's up here, which thankfully isn't much. There is this house. I might as well go in and see what's going on here. You can't buy a gun of that quality in this area. Possibly you can purchase it in a city west of here. Maybe we can go to Carson City for better guns. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the sheriff. Howdy, mister. Yes, I would like to hear what you have to say. You need a letter? Sure. But let me tell you something first. We have too many outlaws around here. Go find them. Their hideout is in the West Craggy Mountains. Or, mountain. And we will have to go over there in order to complete the first part of the game. In the meantime and in between time, I am going to go ahead and go to Carson City. I will explain the guys in black shortly. 
once we are done in Carson City. And this woman should be able to tell us that we are in Carson City. Yes, she did. Let's see what's going on. Oh, this place. Welcome to our firing range. Why not practice over here? With your 18 bullets, you must hit all 18 targets. $10 for one game. All set? Yes. Show your nerve. So, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to show you how it's done. Hopefully, I'll do perfectly. Yes! Okay. So how to do that? You use the control pad to move the cursor and you shoot with B. There are 18 bottles that you need to shoot down and you only have 18 bullets to do that with. You have three cha full chambers worth of bullets and when you run out of bullets in the little, th in the little window in the lower right hand corner when you don't see any more bullets, you need to reload immediately by pressing B. Otherwise, you're going to catch yourself out and you won't be able to shoot at what you're trying to aim at. Now, I'm going to go in here again. And by doing this a second time, there will be a different setup for the bottles. I may not do as well here. But hopefully I'll make more than my money back. Nice! Now, the two attempts at this bonus game that I just showed off, those are the two different, I want to say, versions of the bonus game. And you switch between the two every time you play that mini game so you can easily memorize those two setups of how the bottles are all thrown and you can just keep getting $50 bonus after $50 bonus you get $1 for every bottle that you shoot down there's 18 in all but if you shoot down all 18 you get $50 and you get two different setups for how the bottles are thrown and you can easily memorize them and just keep getting $50 again and again and again and you can get yourself a lot of money for what you need to do and yeah expect me to do that between videos because I need the money and I'm not exactly going to fight a whole bunch of outlaws in order to do that because that's going to be a lot of time spent not getting the exact results that I want. Expect me to play this bonus game a lot. Anyway, let's go in here before we talk to the woman who is just outside that house. Was the president kidnapped? Are you sure? Well, yeah, why else are we here? Do you know Bush Cavendish, the gunslinger? Yes, we do. That's that's because we're going after him. Now we can go up or we can go down. I'm going to go up and take care of this guy. Four, five, six. And he's going to be dumb enough to reload as slowly as possible. So I can just beat him up and take the $5 he supposedly owes me. And there's another train station. We can take this back to Tucson, but 
it's much easier and faster and cheaper if we walk. So I'm just going to walk. And there are two more guys. One of them throws a knife. Thankfully, we can get up in close and beat up both of them. Okay, and I thought that said saloon. Is, was there another guy over there? Or did I just respawn him? Hold on. No, he respawns. I did not know that this guy respawned. I'm going to try that one more time just to make sure. Yep, he respawns. So I can just keep beating this guy up for all the money I need, but... The shooting gallery... Yeah, faster. There's the doctor. And there's another person we can talk to. Long time no see. Um, I'm wearing a mask. I've never seen you before. What's going on here? And there's another gun shop. It's going to have probably the same stuff that we had in the other two shops. I will go ahead and check. Yep, same standard bullets, silver bullets, TNT, and short-barreled guns. Why are you wearing a mask? I'm the Lone Ranger, and I don't want to be identified. Is, what else is there to question? And now... I'm going to go ahead and show off these guys before I go over here. Over to where the West Craggy Mountain is. With some more money, of course. So, these guys run around in black. You run into them. You have a little area that you have to go through where you have to beat a bunch of enemies. Kind of like, say... Bionic Commando. Because Bionic Commando had those kinds of areas. Three... Four, five. Oh, he fired at six bullet, and I should have been keeping track. And these guys keep firing at me. Do not want. I just want them to farm fire their six bullets before I go at after them. And I should have followed my own advice and paid attention to the to the chamber and. Reloaded immediately once I found found out it was empty. Some of these guys will take two hits with the sander bullets, while others will take one. Thankfully, the silver bullets kind of make that a non-issue. And I'm going to go through here as well. That flashing star is where we need to go if we want to enter the West Craggy Mountain. But I just want to show this off and then take out the enemies here too. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to have a gun. I'm just going to shoot him. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And he shot me. Did not want. And I did not want that. And when you die, you either get to continue or end the game. I should have let that music play before I speak. And do I have to do everything over again? Let me see. I have to do everything over again. Well, I got to show off everything that I wanted to do. But now... I'm going to have to do it all over again before I do the next video. Curses! So, yeah, we'll go back to where we left off next time. I should have healed up before I did that. Before I did that second area, so that way I could get through it flawlessly. But yeah, what I wanted to show off was that, with that second area, is that we beat up one of those guys in black. If we completed that second area, the first guy we got rid of would have returned. You can only have one black clad outlaw on the map out of commission at any given time. And if you defeat another one, the game replaces the last one you took out. So there's that. 
Anyway, join me next time where I will be back to where I was with a bunch of money, hopefully, and I will be more than ready to take on the West Craggy Mountain in our attempt to get silver back. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!